Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video we're going to talk about making active material for supercapacitors and for batteries. I know most of you try to make supercapacitors and batteries at home like professional one, but probably you have a lot of problem when you try to make supercapacitor or batteries. Probably you are uh, failed about having good conductivity, probably you are failed about uh, having good capacitance, and self-discharge of your battery or supercapacitor uh, is very high and you can storage the energy uh, for a long time in your supercapacitor or your battery. So, but in today's video, I'm going to tell you a very easy way and I will show you how you can make uh, available very professional active material uh, for your supercapacitor and for your battery. I know those materials, professional materials, are very expensive, but in this video I'm going to show you the reasonable way and using the reasonable material for doing this. Okay, if you want to make a supercapacitor or if you want to make a battery, there are three important points. The first one is current collector, the second one is electrolyte, and the third one is active material. These two components should be very compatible with each other. I mean, there should be a very nice combination between these three materials. And binder is very important part, very important component for uh, making a good active material. Okay, when you finish your supercapacitor or your battery, there shouldn't be any reaction between the electrolyte and the current collector and your active material should stick together, not disperse in the water or peeling off uh, in the electrolyte or in the water. And But um, it should be permeable and porous in order to uh, increase the conductivity, internal conductivity uh, of your battery and your supercapacitor. So, active material is very important, playing a very important role in making a supercapacitor and battery. When it comes to making a good active material for supercapacitor or for battery, the binder and active materials are playing very critical, very important role. So, uh, for active material, generally the best solution is using graphene, but graphene is very, very expensive. Instead of graphene, so we can use activated carbon, but the conductivity of activated carbon is not as much as graphene, so we need to increase the conductivity of activated carbon. In order to increase the uh, conductivity of activated carbon, we can add ultrafine graphite powder. So, in this video, we will use activated carbon, add ultrafine graphite powder, and we will use a binder. I will show you which binder. Uh, we can use for making activated uh, active material for our battery and we will make an um, active material for our supercapacitor or for our battery. Now, let's start. Okay, first of all, let me introduce the types of binders that we can use to make active materials and I will tell you, talk about the properties of these binders and which one is the best for making active material. First of all, you can use uh, polyvinyl acetate. This is PVA white glue. And you can also use polyvinyl alcohol. These two materials are very similar to each other. If you are going to use water-based electrolyte, you can use these um, binders with peace of mind. And also I have gamma rabbit here. This uh, binder is very beautiful, very nice uh, binder. You can get very nice results from this binder, but this is water soluble. So if you are going to use a water-based electrolyte, you shouldn't use uh, gamma rabbit because it will uh, disperse, uh, melted in the water, so it's not a good choice uh, to use this binder in water-based electrolyte. And I have another binder here, this is CMC carboxymethyl cellulose. This is also a very nice, very beautiful binder, but if you are going to sulfate solution as an electrolyte, you shouldn't, you couldn't use uh, this binder. For example, if you are going to use um, sodium sulfate or magnesium sulfate, this binder will not uh, work very well, so you should choose uh, another binder. And polyvinyl acetate, PVA, and polyvinyl alcohol, you can't use these binders if your electrolyte is acidic. For example, sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid, you can't use, you shouldn't use these two uh, binders. These are not works. And 
uh, polyvinyl acetate, polyvinyl alcohol, gamma arabic and CMC is working very well if you are going to use an organic solvent um, as an electrolyte, for example, acetonitrile or acetone or ethylene or methanol, ethanol or methanol. You can use uh, these four uh, binders with peace of mind, but again, I said uh, you shouldn't use um, sodium sulfate or magnesium sulfate for these two binders. They are not working with um, sulfate solutions. Okay, let's talk about my favorite binder, sodium silicate. This is very resistant to most of the electrolyte. Water-based electrolyte, in organic electrolyte, you can use uh, sodium silicate. It is very resistant to acidic solution, but for um, sulfate solution, it's not working very well. So if you are going to use sodium sulfate, copper sulfate, or uh, magnesium sulfate, this is not working very well. But in most of the other um, electrolyte and um, salts, sodium silicate is working very, very, very well. Normally, the most professional uh, binder is PVDF, polyvinyl difluoride. But again, it, just like graphene, it is very, very expensive. But you can also use uh, sodium silicate to having or making a very nice, very beautiful active material. So in today's video, I am going to use sodium silicate um, as a binder. So let's start to make our active material. I have a glass here, just turn on my scale and I have graphite powder here, ultra fine graphite powder. I will just put one gram of graphite powder and five gram of activated carbon. Okay, my friend, this is activated carbon. I will just put five grams of activated carbon. So the ratio should be one to five. The ratio should be one gram to five gram, one to five. Now I am going to add about um, 20 grams of deionized water. It should be deionized or distilled water. You shouldn't use uh, potable or bulk water. Just add about 20 grams. Okay, that's enough. Now I will give a stir and mix them very well. Now I will put away my scale. Now I will stir very well before adding the binder. The stirring is very important. If you stir a lot, stir for a long time, the conductivity of your active material will be better, my friends. Believe me on this. Do you see? Can you see that?
Now I'm going to add about uh, two milliliter of sodium silicate. Okay, just two milliliter of sodium silicate. Don't put too much. Yeah, just two milliliter of uh, sodium silicate. And stir again very well. Now in order to mix it very very well I'm going to use this small blender. I have my um, homemade battery here. Okay, my friends, after stirring with the blender for about 5 minutes or 10 minutes, your active material is ready to use. You can use this active material for your supercapacitor, for your battery. This is very nice, very beautiful active material. This is very resistant to acidic solutions and basic solution. You can use this active material with sulfuric acid, with phosphoric acid, with sodium hydroxide, with um, potassium hydroxide. But just um, be sure that you don't use this active material with um, sulfate solution like uh, sodium sulfate or magnesium sulfate or copper sulfate. It will not work very well, but in other solutions, water-based solution and in organic solution, it will work very well. Now, I will just paint a piece of paper and show you the um, form of the active material. Okay, my friends, I have my paper here. I will now paint with my active material. With the help of uh, a brush, I will paint the paper. For your supercapacitor or for your battery, you could just paint the electrodes just like this and let it to dry. After this active material dried very well, you will get a very nice uh, electrode for your supercapacitor or for your battery. This is a very nice um, active material. This is a very nice active material. After you paint your electrode with this active material, just let it to dry. And after it dry, the electrodes for your supercapacitor or for your battery uh, will be ready. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe my channel. If you make this active material and using your supercapacitor and your batteries, you will get very nice, very good results and you will be very happy with this active material. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos, my friends.